Good evening and welcome to the Empire State Pride Agenda's 2014 Spring Dinner. Join me in welcoming to the stage our host for the evening, from Showtime's nurse Jackie, Stephen Wallum. Thank you so much. How wonderful to be here. If I could have a little more light on my... I should have memorized the script, but uh, I'm on television. We don't memorize anything. Um, good evening and welcome to the Empire State Pride Agenda's 2014 Annual Spring Dinner. I uh, almost walked into the Rising Star Talent Show right next door by mistake because, you know, I'm sure if you look around you can see that the outfits are actually very close to the ones next door. So, no, no that's not a bad thing, trust me, that's not an insult by any means. Um, it is so wonderful to be here to help the Pride Agenda celebrate 15 years of excellence in Western New York. This is the Pride Agenda's 15th annual spring dinner, and we have a great program lined up to celebrate the amazing accomplishments, not only here in this beautiful community of Rochester, but also in Syracuse and in Buffalo and all the towns in between. Now, I'm going to take this time to give you all a second to lean over to the person you're sitting next to and quietly whisper, who is that again? We don't have showtime at our house. Okay. That should be enough. <laughs> Being here in Rochester is truly a privilege. Rochester is home to some of the most fearless advocates for New York's LGBT community. Advocates like Evelyn Bailey, who is tonight's Community <laughs> Service Award honoree. Now, I have been, uh, as I was preparing uh, for, for tonight's event and, and talking to some of the wonderful people who are involved with this organization, um, I've been given some suggestions uh, about some do's and don'ts of hosting this evening based on past events. And I've taken all these suggestions to heart. And I think the most important one has been about uh, not using gender-specific language when it comes to referring to entire groups of people. And I, I absolutely respect that, that choice, and I'm going, to, I'm going to stick to that. And so, um, regardless of, of what your gender is or your sexual orientation, uh, tonight I'm going to be referring to everybody as either Beyonce's, Liza's, or beluga whales, just so you know that. And that's because these are all beloved things all over the world and nobody should be offended by being called any of those things. As we celebrate the accomplishments of the past year, we look ahead to more victories that lie ahead. The Pride Agenda continues an assertive campaign to raise awareness about the discrimination faced by transgender New Yorkers as it works to pass gender which is the Gender Expression Non-Discrimination Act. Pride Agenda Executive Director Nathan Schaefer will make his way up to the stage later tonight to talk about the Pride Agenda's progress, as well as their work on banning reparative therapy on LGBT minors. Oh. The Pride Agenda is continuing its work to make sure our families are protected here in New York, and this includes overturning New York's ban on surrogacy and making second parent adoption easier. You'll hear more about this from tonight's keynote speaker, sponsor of the Child Parent Security Act, Senator Brad Hoyleman. Now, Rochester's newly elected mayor, Lovely Warren, is also here tonight, and I understand that she has an incredibly important announcement to share with all of us. Now, coincidentally, um, Mayor Warren and I have something in common, being that my drag name is Lovely Wallum. <laughs> she and I will have lots to talk about later. 
So with that being said, let's get this show on the road. Now some housekeeping first before we begin. Uh, if all of my gay brothers out there could please put their grinder notifications on vibrate for the evening, I'd appreciate it. And for all our straight friends in the room, if you could please turn off your candy crush or at least just dim the screen while we're all talking about. Apparently there's only two straight people here. I thought there would be more <sighs> while we're trying. That's what this organization's about, isn't it? Now to begin tonight's program, I would like to invite two of the hardworking individuals who have organized this wonderful evening to the stage. Please join me in welcoming Spring Dinner Co-Chair Julia Green-Sevruck and Vice Chair Patrick Petoni. <laughs> 